Happy Tuesday. I'm Lucas, and this is TOEFL Tuesday. I'm coming to you from TOEFL.Magoosh.com, where we help our students to take the TOEFL. And I'm giving you advice every week here. Today, I'm going through some TOEFL vocabulary, words about rain. How many words can there be about rain, you might wonder? And really, how useful is it for the TOEFL? Well, it's actually very useful because the TOEFL loves to talk about climate and weather and natural sciences. So you will likely see something about rain somewhere on your TOEFL, but it might not be just rain. It might be a more difficult word like drought. In fact, a drought is with no rain. <laughs> it's the exact opposite of rain. When there is a drought, there is no rain for a very long time, and all the plants die, all the trees die, there are many fires. It's an unnatural problem in an area. In the past few years, California has had a long drought in the U.S. Um, there have been lakes that have dried up, almost completely dry, rivers that are very low and the people without enough water to uh, use on farms. This is different than a desert, right? A desert never has rain. You wouldn't say that the desert is in a drought because it doesn't have rain normally. In order to have a drought, you must have normal rain that stops for a long time and causes problems. Our next word is actually similar, arid. To be arid. Arid is an adjective meaning very dry, but dry in the air, like a desert. It's not just about a drought, it could be about a desert. So this is not um, just a short period without rain. It just describes the dryness of the general area, an area that doesn't get enough rain. So deserts are arid. During a drought, a forest might be arid. Right. Next is a lot of water. The opposite of arid and a drought, those dry words. This one, a torrent, is a lot of water coming all at once, very fast. So a torrent could be during a storm, for example. You could say that the storm brought a torrent of rain, which washed away houses. That would be a serious storm, a hurricane probably, not just a uh, rainstorm because it's washing houses away. But torrent is that idea of a very powerful amount of water. To erode. This is what water does to rocks or land over a long period of time when it runs over the rocks, over the land again and again, and slowly the land gets smoother and it becomes lower and lower and lower because the rain or the wind takes away small pieces bit by bit. So, for example, maybe you have some mountains like the um, Appalachian Mountains in the U.S. on the East Coast that are very, very old. Those mountains are from such a long time ago that rain has made the mountains shorter. It has eroded those mountains. All of these rain words and more, in fact, 596 more words are in our TOEFL vocabulary flashcard app. I highly recommend it. It has example sentences, definitions. I've been working on these for the past month, and there's lots of advanced, helpful TOEFL specific words for you here. It's free, totally free. Check out TOEFL flashcards in your app store, both Android and iOS, Apple and you'll find them as the first result, TOEFL flashcards. I hope those flashcards and this lesson today helped on your TOEFL. Again, I'm Lucas, the TOEFL expert at magoosh.com. I'll see you next week for another TOEFL Tuesday. Ciao.